hey guys uh, welcome back to yet another uh, video log of uh, the linux channel so ever since i started my open source uh, project uh, uh, which is uh, the toffee project uh, website in the month of uh, may 2016 i find uh, there is a significant increase in uh, traffic and initially the, i was getting alexa ranking of around 12 million or so in the first week of its launch and uh, from that time uh, significantly it is getting boosted up and uh, currently it shows like uh, uh, 2.9 uh, uh, million somewhere around that's it so i was quite happy with the same but on the other side i was a little bit uh, worried in terms of um, the page load times and uh, the performance in the f upcoming future so that uh, once i started uh, hitting uh, uh, around uh, 10000 visits in a day or more than that i need to uh, take certain measures i need to do some amount of load sharing so that uh, uh, you won't get uh, uh, you know serialized uh, web resources being served from the server so this is what exactly i can term so i have been worked in uh, uh, cdn networks i i was also an ex employee of akamai so in that way i know certain uh, advantages of using a third party vendor based cdn so i thought uh, maybe in future uh, i can uh, subscribe to any sort of you know third party cdn uh, services but uh, down the line i thought uh, in that case uh, it has its own advantages and disadvantages and it is not suitable for all sorts of uh, uh, websites and especially a website like mine is not neither so big or neither so small so it is somewhere in between so i was thinking uh, 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 you know let me build my own uh, cdn network for my website and let me share it uh, across to your viewers so that it will be helpful uh, to learn uh, basics of building your own cdn network and uh, not only that in case if you want to uh, subscribe to any third party cdn services you also understand what you are going through and uh, essentially how you can integrate these services within your uh, you know uh, website uh, platform as well. so i have hosted uh, the toffee uh, website in uh, in motion so before that uh, i was uh, doing some uh, uh, research in the morning and i found uh, the wonderful uh, uh, google uh, tool called as uh, uh, google uh, page speed insights so with this tool you can monitor your Your, uh, website's performance you can get a basic idea about uh, how is your uh, website is performing and is there any uh, corrections you can do and is there any issues to address and things like that so in that way i found <laughs> quite surprisingly the uh, web server it is not uh, compressing my uh, pages being served and uh, essentially there is a setting in in motion uh, you can uh, log into its uh, c panel and you can uh, uh, find there is a setting called uh, let me show across so this is my uh, c panel of uh, the toffee website so in this uh, you have uh, there is a no, no, a tab called software and within the software you have something called as uh, optimize website so with this optimize website initially it was uh, uh, the compress content option is uh, disabled and i have just enabled uh, it in the morning so once again i was uh, doing some uh, Uh, verification with the Google uh, Page Speed insights. So I thought, uh, let me take uh, a page within my website which is not uh, so big. It is also not so small. Uh, something like that, uh, so that uh, we can take this as a base and we can start improving from that as well. So this is a sort of preliminary step even before you think of building any CDN network. So suppose there is uh, a lot more uh, less traffic is coming to your website or your website is very small. You don't need to even uh, bother about so. that's the point as so before even doing that you need to do some preliminary analysis and you need to uh, jot down all this points so that uh, once you start building your cdn uh, network step by step you can monitor uh, the improvement in performance and uh, you can uh, uh try to achieve uh, you know day by day uh, the best performance as possible the best page load time and as well as uh, minimize your uh, uh, overall uh, latency of your uh, you know web content as so that's the key because the more uh, pages uh, are going to take more time to load and uh, you are going to suffer with respect to your seo rankings as well as it is going to reflect in your uh, google analytics and down the line it is going to reflect in your uh, alexa rankings So I consider Alexa as a best tool so that uh, apart from uh, you know uh, you monitoring with uh, Google uh, tools uh, you know uh, you you can get some sort of second opinion with uh, tools like Alexa because it is uh, from a different uh, vendor and it's understandingly from <laughs> Amazon so you can get a, a 
uh, you know uh, second opinion of your website's performance with alexa and uh, of course we all uh, uh, use google tools so what you can do is you can take a page like this let me copy its url and you can paste it here and you can click analyze so this will take a while depending on your page size so once uh, it does uh, sort of uh, download of your page just the way it reads in a mobile phone just the way it reads in a laptop or a desktop so it does that and uh, it starts uh, giving few pointers and it will uh, show any errors or any warnings uh, existing in your uh, uh, web content since uh, i have uh, done uh, my web content with uh, uh, joomla uh, so there are few things i can change but there are few things it is like still out of my control and i'm still new with uh, joomla and i'm trying to uh, get accustomed with the same so as you can see here it shows uh, these pointers and you can see here 65 out of 100 it shows in the case of uh, mobile phones whereas in the case of desktop performance it shows 80 out of 100 which is a good sign as so there are few things it uh, suggest uh, me to fix and it suggests me optional fixes and things like that in and one of these fixes it uh, suggested about a compression uh, being not enabled in the website so that is when i came to know that i can do the same and uh, i was just checking around how i can enable the same and uh, luckily i found in inmotion uh, 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 forum uh, support forum uh, so that you can log in in inmotion cpanel and you can enable via cpanel without you know editing any scripts by yourself so you can see here it suggests few things around so whichever is possible you can uh, 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 you can uh, do these changes and uh, there is an option also to do minification of your CSS, minification of your JavaScript. So I started uh, slowly uh, the minification process of my uh, CSS files so that uh, it uh, gives the best performance because these CSS files uh, are going to be loaded uh, across any pages of, of the website. So it is quite important to do the minification of these uh, uh, scripts files and uh, it is going to significantly increase your uh, website's performance. So, so these are the baby steps guys uh, you can start uh, doing uh, uh, analyzing your website and you need to understand at what point of time you can start thinking seriously about uh, uh, scaling up your website and as well as uh, do some uh, load sharing and uh, introduce some redundancy and features like that so as i discussed before you can choose to use any uh, readily available third party cdn services or in case if you are uh, like me interested uh, building your own cdn uh, setup you can uh, follow my uh, video series uh, so thanks a lot once again for watching this video guys in case if you have any queries uh, please post it across in youtube comments and in case if you have any screenshots you want to discuss about your setup uh, please uh, send me an uh, email uh, uh, to my email id uh, which i'm uh, going to to include in the youtube description so thank you once again for watching this video guys have a nice day bye bye